Salt is a compound made up of sodium and chlorine. Its chemical formula is NaCl. Salt has many different uses from melting road ice to preserving meat. Though salt is not easy to synthesize, it has not necessarily been common throughout human history and controlling a salt supply has often been the source of conflicts. Global trade of salt is very dependent on the places and ways that salt is produced. There are three main natural methods of salt production. Evaporating seawater, which is common in tropical coastal regions, rolling down the salt solution from brine springs, and mining rock salt. The demand for trade led to permanent settlements of people taking advantage of the natural wealth of salt. Venice started as a community that extracted salt from the brines of the lagoons and eventually grew into a center of trade in the 11th century. The salt trade has been prevalent from the first instances of agriculture. The value of salt can be seen because in the Middle Ages in Europe, it was referred to as white gold. Salt has a rich history in Africa as well. For example, the ancient Egyptians used salt in mummification. The trade of salt is also a large contributor to the spread of Islam. Timbuktu was a major trading post along the Saharan trade route and the exchange of gold from West Africa for salt from the Sahara led to the expansion of Islam. Salt was also traded to Europe because it's a large market for a way to preserve fish and other fresh meats. Salt is a good preservative for meats because it is able to remove water from tissue. This increases the salt concentration in their tissue which prevents the survival of bacteria. Human extraction of salt has also had a large impact on the environment. Salt allowed fishermen to travel further in the North Atlantic. This led to the near extinction of cod in, in the 1900s. In addition, it has often led to deforestation in communities that use firewood to boil salt water. In addition to being a commodity of trade, salt was also considered a prize of war. For example, the Dead Sea has been conquered specifically because of the abundance of salt in the region. Salt has often been taxed. This provides a large income because salt doesn't have substitutes and is needed by everyone. In 1259, there was an infamous salt tax in France called the Gabelle. It required every man, woman, and child over the age of eight to purchase a certain amount of salt each week. The price was set by the king and this made it able to be changed at the will of the monarch and was a source of much class conflict. At its highest, it, in it increased the price of salt more than 20 times its real cost. As a British colony, India was also subject to high taxes on salt, despite the fact that salt taxes in Britain had been abol abolished. The British imposed salt tax became a symbol of colonial oppression in India. As Ghani fought for Indian independence, he went on a famous march to the sea where he protested the salt tax by marching 240 miles to the coast of India. There he and thousands of supporters boiled seawater and sold the salt. Salt is an important material in industrial processes. The industrial and chemical revolutions created a large demand for salt because it was a major starting material in many industrial processes. Another thing is that during the 20th century, salt was able to be commercially synthesized in large quantities, accounting for the large price drop. Salt has had large impacts on the cultures of people. As mentioned before, salt was used in the mummification processes in ancient Egypt, which was a large part of the culture there. It has had cultural roles in France and India, helping to create revolutions that changed who was in power in both places. Salt was a basis for one of the greatest trade networks and fostered the spread of Islam. Salt is, a very, solu is very soluble in water. This is due to the unique properties and structure of salt. It is also able to conduct electrical currents, whereas pure water cannot. The solubility and conductivity of salt in water is mostly due to the charge of the ions. NaCl is composed of positively charged sodium ions and negatively charged chlorine ions. These are, these are held together by intermolecular forces. Water molecules are partially charged and this allows the salt to dissolve. The difference in a charge of the water molecules are able to pull apart the sodium and chlorine. 
The positive sodium ions are surrounded by the negative side of water molecules, which separates it from the negatively charged chlorine ions. These, in turn, are pulled by the slightest positive side of the water. Also, the tendency for the ions to disperse randomly accounts for the solubility. Salt is needed to maintain the electrolyte balance between the cells and the fluids surrounding the cells. The process that generates electrical impulses in the nervous system is called the sodium-potassium pump. The pump forces sodium ions out of the cell to make a negative charge of cytoplasm inside the cell and a positive charge outside the cell. The chlorine in common salt is used by the body to produce hydrochloric acid that is used in the stomach to digest food. Salt deprivation causes loss of weight and appetite, cramps, and nausea. Sodium hydroxide, hydroxide is made by passing an electrical current through sodium chloride. Chlorine gas was originally considered a byproduct of the reaction, but once it was discovered to be a bleaching agent and a disinfectant, it became as much a reason for production of NaOH. Your head is in it. Haley, I can't. Okay, start over. Is my leg in it? Um, it's alright. Is it? It is, it really is. <laughs> oh no, we shook it. Oh, Jesus. Don't be rude. It's not stopping again. Oh my god. Keep pressing it. It'll go away. It's blinking. It's blinking. Let's keep blinking. I'm about to erase it, but don't stop. Okay. You know what? It's fine. No, fix it.